Hello, welcome back to Daily Mail FTM. My name is Aiden, today is Monday, and this week's topic is names. Okay, now, to clear this up before I move on with the video, wasn't drunk in my last video, just want to make sure you know, 16, live in my parents' house, not gonna happen. I was just tired and goofy, as I am right now, because I go to a college prep school, and I work, and I have, I have, I am exhausted. Let's leave it at that. Okay. Um, and yes, I am filming this with a selfie stick. I have no shame. It's a lot steadier than my other videos. So, I'm going to talk real quick about how I chose my name. So, at first, I was just kind of like thinking, what names do I like? What names did I used to name my fanfiction characters? Because I used to make those a lot. And I liked them making them up. So, um, what did I name my characters in Pokemon? What did I name my character in Pokemon Ranger? Like, I'm still going through that. Like, I named all of my Pokemon Rangers, and like, that was the only one that I liked to play. I named all of my baby dolls Aiden when I was a kid. Like, I got really disappointed when people told me I couldn't have two baby dolls named Aiden. Like, why can't I? I know the difference. You don't, you sound like your problem. But, um, because <laughs> I had two baby dolls that looked the same, and I was like, I'm just going to name this one Aiden, because I don't have any other ideas. And they're like, you can't name two baby dolls Aiden. Stop killing my dreams. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, and then the name Alexander was one that I used to name my characters. Xavier, all that kind of stuff. Like, you go through things that are familiar to you. But, um, and that's what I did when I chose Eden. I was like, well, maybe because I was so obsessed with it when I was a kid. That's what my name's supposed to be. But I think I was wrong. So now kind of lost on that. But yeah. Oh. But yeah, I'm pretty kind of, I'm pretty sure that I'm wrong. I know I don't kind of don't know what to do because I made a huge deal out of the Aiden thing. You know, when I came out, I had it painted across the shirt. You know, like I was like, this is my name. And now I'm afraid that people are going to be like, Really? You're really going to change it? And like, I'm so uncomfortable with that. Like, I thought you figured out your identity. I guess you really are confused. And it's just, like, nothing. It's just nothing. Like, you know, that, that I, I get afraid a lot of that kind of things. So, um. I can't really give too much advice on not to be nervous about the name thing because it's natural to be nervous when you're asking someone to respect these um, deeply rooted in your identity parts of yourself because they're so close to you and near to your heart and near to all of your understanding of yourself that you're just scared poopless. This is a PG channel. That's the same thing as worldless. <laughs> the dilemma is, do you stick with the name that you don't feel right with because it's a masculine name? Or do you switch to a name that you identify with but people aren't used to? Now, it's a bit easier for me because I feel like I can hold the decision off until I go to college. But, it's also a bit difficult to decide because that's like a year from now. It's like, I don't want that change to come. Then, I want it now. I want it soon. I'm a very impatient person. I have to find the lesson in this for me and for you. So, allow me to try to 
emulate the dilemma. No, 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 not emulate. Translate the dilemma. Me and maybe you are having. Selfie stick off. The question is, if they respect you, will they be willing to adapt from you? Probably. Will they get it wrong? Totally. Is that cool? Totally. I don't give a shit. Oop. I don't give a poop. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a poop if you get it wrong as long as you don't use my birth name. That's fine by me. But I think the lesson is that if the person you're dealing with or the people you're worried about are good people or are, is a good person, they'll be willing to do things that will require effort in order to make you more comfortable. So go for it. Don't drag your identity down because you're afraid of inconveniencing other people. You're never going to be an inconvenience to other people. It's just going to be a new thing. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. I think I and maybe other people need to stop worrying about us being inconveniences. And, like, stop worrying about, like, um, troubling other people and start worrying about demanding the things that make us more comfortable. So, if you're one of those people, fist bump, you got this. Remember, you are important and the things that make you feel comfortable matter. Lesson of the day. Am I going to force it on my friends? They call me new names? Probably not. I'm probably not going to do that. No. That doesn't appeal to me. Uh, but I think I'm going to start experimenting more with names because of this revelation that I've had with you lovely people. And start being less afraid to claim parts of my identity that I'm reaching as time goes on. So is it cool to call me Aiden from now on? If any of the people I know are watching this, yes, do. I have not figured out an actual name yet. I'm thinking, I have like, I have this list of like 136 names and some of them are like really out there and some of them are like really cool. And I, I think like, we get stuck in that room. Oh, well, it doesn't sound right. Well, I think the whole thing with humans and it doesn't sound right is that we haven't heard it enough. You know, like, I don't have to pair it with my, uh, my last name for it to sound right. If I like it and I want to be called it, then I want to be called it and I'm claiming that. I'm claiming that poop. Doesn't matter if I'm not cool enough for the name. The name will be cooler because of me. This bump. I will keep you all updated on the name issue. If you are having any troubles with your name, feel free to contact me. If you have stories, if you want to talk about something, contact me. Um, my inbox on Tumblr is always open. You can even email me if you want. I don't care. I would love to interact more with you guys because I feel like right now um, our channel is very um, very just us talking at you and I want us to talk with you a little bit more. So if you could, viewers, uh, if you have anything to say, say it. I want to hear you. And that's cheesy and weird, but still, I want to make sure you guys know that you're important. So if you want to talk about anything, you have a story you just want to speak or you have ideas for topics for the next couple of weeks we would really appreciate it and i would really appreciate it most importantly because this is my video on this channel if you contacted me or us i hope you're gonna have i don't know
I wish you a lovely, lovely week. Have good times. If you have bad times, then I hope that our videos can create some good times for you or you will be able to find your way back to good times by the time I see you next. I will see you next week. Be sure to tune in for the other guys' videos, and if you haven't already, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.